Welcome to the third of three uh, Nugget podcasts on how to actually make to-do work to-do list work for you, to take your day a little more out of the meh and into, oh yeah, all right, we're getting some progress here. I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is the Meh to Yeah podcast, and it's coming to you live on Facebook Live, as well as on YouTube and through, uh, through my podcast. Every Monday, we have a profile show where we will interview someone who's turned their lives into such an amazing life of yeah and we want to dissect how we actually how they did that so that we can learn from that Uh, on facebook and on youtube you'll get a three minute three to five minute summary of that you'll be able to get the full interview uh through through my podcast or through my blog at ravitangri.com that's r-a-v-i T-A-N-G-R-I.com. You can get it from iTunes, from Google Play, from Stitcher, from all the different places that uh, where you normally get your, your podcasts. So in the, um, the on, on midweek, what we do is we provide these little five-minute nuggets podcasts, which are really powerful techniques to help you really elevate your life. And what we've been doing the last two weeks is giving you some hacks for to-do lists, which usually cause a lot more stress. So the the third of the to-do list hacks that I have for you today is a lot of times when we make to-do lists, what we do is we put in things that we've got to do, but maybe we're not going to be able to get around to them. Maybe they're not due whatever for for another week or 10 days, but we put it all on the list. And what happens is it just creates a whole lot more stress it just gets you um it gets you working with all sorts of things that you can't touch yet anyway that or that aren't due there's other things that are due before before this so what uh what i will suggesting the third hack is to separate your to-do list again into two sort of lists those that you can do immediately focus on now and those that you can that you need to get to but they're not current. So the immediate list might be just for today, it might be this week, whatever works for you, but a now list and a next list. And then you focus on the now list. Now, what we can do is tie this in with the other to-do list hacks that I gave you. So the first one was to identify those things on your to-do list that you can't do anything about without somebody else. You need somebody else's input. So what I said was all those things that you can't do, that you can't act on, you put into a separate list, a, a red list I suggested, that uh, you know it needs to be done, but th- th- it's out of your control. What is on your other list, the blue list, which you do control, are the things that you can do. So those things where you're waiting for information for someone, you can, you can email them, you can call them, you can harass them 50,000 ways. That's on your to-do list that you can action. So what we can do is break things up into sort of a a two by two grid. So if you look at time, so now, later, that's what I was talking about today. What are the things on your to-do list that you can do now? What are those that, that come later? Then you can look at control. Who controls it? I control it or others? So this is what I was talking about, that the things that you control, I, that, that's your blue list. That's what you can do. This is what others are controlling. So that gives you two, three, four, uh, four different quadrants. The immediate thing that you can focus on now is your, the current things that you can focus on right now that you can control. Then... Included in that is harassing people or bothering people to get the information to get whatever you need done to get those done, right? Then once you get that done, some of these two lists can get added onto your list. But the thing is, why create the stress of all that if you know you're not going to be getting to that till you do all this, right? You you have them, you have them recorded, but you don't uh, you you don't put it all on one list to magnify the stress. And then the second hack I told you was instead of writing it as a to do list, you write it as a to done list. Because if you go back and look at that Nugget podcast, it actually increases your motivation. So all of these things on this number one list, you write them as if you've already completed them. All right. So those are three to do list hacks that you can use to complete 
completely flip around how they work for you. And for most people, they don't work. And these are things that I've found in my coaching practice and in working with the others that actually make these things work for you. Okay. So on Monday, we've got an incredible uh, profile uh, podcast with Helena St. James. And the, the interesting thing about this is a lot of times for people, life can get so chaotic. It can almost feel like you're out at war, like you're in a war zone. Well, Helena has actually gone into war zones as a reporter. And what I'm doing in that interview is pulling out what she learned. And it's incredible. The three powerful uh, tools that she learned to survive in an actual war zone are directly relevant to surviving in our lives, even if they sometimes feel like a war zone. So join me on Monday for that. And we will see you uh, next week with our next Nugget podcast uh, midweek. And again, you can get all of these in the full profile interviews. Just go to ravitangri.com, R-A-V-I-T-A-N-G-R-I.com. And Scroll down just a little bit and you can sign up to the blog or to the, the podcast and any of the, the servers and, uh, and get the full interviews delivered right to you. Have an amazing day and a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.